Oh, hi, this is Bob Bedore with SLC Nerds 12 Flicks of Christmas, and you caught me read one of my favorite Christmas classics, A Die Hard Christmas. And I started thinking, well, maybe that should be the movie that I do this time. But then the debate raged in my head. Which is the better Christmas movie, Die Hard or Lethal Weapon? I mean, if you think about it, they're both the same movie, really. Both take place in Los Angeles at Christmas time, where there's no snow. Both uh, have a hero who is lonely, missing their mate, one through separation, one through death. Both are unhinged and crazy at times. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. You wanna see crazy, I'll tell you. <laughs> Both are shoeless at times, both are shirtless most of the time. Both are helped by African-American policemen. But I'm kind of busy right now, I'll talk to you later. I'm too old for this shit. Both have to fight an army of mercenaries that have way more firepower than them. And both have to do what they can to try to bring a family together. Both movies even have the villain who was thought to be dead rise up, getting ready to shoot them only to get shot himself. Classic. And lastly, both defined what action movies are. Die Hard defined what a one man versus an army movie is all about. Welcome to the party, pal! And Lethal Weapon redefined buddy cop movies forever. Raj, meet your new partner. I'm too old for this shit. But it's time to get to who wins. And, uh, well, let's look at them. Die Hard, one of my top five favorite movies of all time, but it really only uses Christmas as an accent. Sure, there's the little jokes, the ho, ho, ho. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. There's little bits, it's a Christmas party, but it only uses that as an accent. After watching both movies back to back, Lethal Weapon is a Christmas movie. In fact, it's almost like a Hallmark Christmas movie. You've got uh, this this guy who's on the brink of suicide and he's about to, to end his life when, what happens? A Christmas miracle. This time, Bugs Bunny. You've got him just wanting to get to a family. You, you see him change over time, and you see the big ending as he has been helped by his angel that he's been able to get rid of that, and he gives the gift back. Give this to your dad, okay? Uh, it's a present for him. Tell him I won't be needing it anymore. It's a bullet. Yeah, it's a bullet. <laughs> well, he'll understand. That's a Christmas message. In fact, it's even got this great fight scene in front of a Christmas tree with water that looks like snow. So it's a much more Christmas movie. And Lethal Weapon has a dog. Every Christmas movie needs a dog. So for my friend Joel Hilton, who has argued that Lethal Weapon is the best Christmas movie, I agree, Joel. And for all of you, go watch both of these movies. They're great. And have yourself a Merry Christmas. This has been Bob Bedore for SLC Nerds, 12 Flicks of Christmas. Mm -hmm.